Donald Trump argues NAFTA has wiped out U.S. manufacturing jobs. I am going to renegotiate NAFTA. And if I can't make a great deal, then we're going to terminate NAFTA and we're going to create new deals. Unionists say Canada and Mexico have benefited at the expense of cities like Detroit. They applaud Trump's plans. His position on trade is right on. NAFTA is a problem, and I've said that way before this election started, way before the candidates were selected. It is a huge problem to the American people. Lured by cheaper production costs, nine car makers have invested in Mexico since 2010, including Detroit's big three, Ford, Fiat Chrysler and General Motors. They remain headquartered in Detroit, with one just across the border from Canada. The distance is less than half a mile, but geographically, that's a very significant difference. For Donald Trump, General Motors being based on this side of the river is a win for American jobs. And that also applies for where companies choose to locate their factories and build their cars. Trump has threatened a 35% trade tariff on cars made overseas and sold in America. But as it's more expensive to produce cars in the US, that means higher costs for car makers, costs they're likely to pass on. If these cars all get produced locally, they might be more expensive. And if people are willing to pay that, then we'll have to see if people are willing to pay that. Sales just going the last three years up, up and up. So things seem to be going pretty well now. So I don't know if a big shakeup is what they need. The Center for Automotive Research here in the U.S. state of Michigan argues Trump's proposed trade tariff, combined with a withdrawal from NAFTA, could cost the U.S. another 31,000 jobs. Detroit is no longer the auto industry powerhouse it once was. Jobs moving overseas have clearly hurt the city. But automakers and economists both question whether Donald Trump's plans will provide that promised roadmap for recovery. Nick Harper, CGTN, Detroit.